Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. Let's jump right in here, Cancer, and see what's going on with who this is you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Now keep in mind, this is a general reading for the sign of Cancer, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. For more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings um, for $20. You get the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Now I'm going to shuffle all the cards out first, Cancer, and then I'll tell you what I see. your cancer got a chunk that flew out here So for the majority right away, this is either commitments, marriage, or contract they have with you. Marriage or relationship, this is someone you're in a marriage or relationship with, or you have a commitment of some sort, a unique contract with for some of you here, okay? Like business. Business, all right? Business. I don't know why I had to say it like that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting goofy here. I gotta be serious. Apparently. <laughs> Business. People don't like when I'm happy. That's why I just, <laughs> I gotta be a robot, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, here's the thing. I, I have to talk to a specific cancer here right away um because uh, your your answer is really easy um whoever you are in higher up business cahoots with um they are happily planning with you in secret you guys have a lot of plans you guys do a lot of business you guys have a lot of money okay <laughs> um there are some ups and downs that they're going through i think more so with their own personal stuff because they are very well known and successful but it's also connected to you. But I feel like it's because you two linked up together is why there's just shit going on about the two of you, if that makes sense. But at the end of the day, either they're waiting on a celebration or they know there's a celebration. It's like so someone knows they're going to celebrate and party with you soon. Does that make sense? And um, it's been a battle. It's been hellish, I think, for you and for them, both parties involved. But at the end of the day, overall, they're planning with you. They're still going to be, you know... Of, of genuine justice with you. You know what I'm saying? Like they really are working with you um, and they're happy about that, okay? it's There's just some ups and downs that, that are going on because they're connected to you. And that's really for like one cancer out there in the world, okay? It's like, 
that's really it. Like that's the quick answer I can give you. But you know, the rest of you, you could still obviously be here and to to tune in and listen along. The rest of you, overall, no matter what, this person's still willing to plan with you secretly. Okay, keep their plan secretive with you or towards you, whatever it is. Now they start out in general. Whoever says they start out in this energy of um, kind of working with you, kind of not wanting to build something with you, um, little by little. And this is where it's a few things. Either they just don't, you know, they don't have passion. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to say anything. Maybe they're irritated they're annoyed or they're frustrated. Um, you know, either or. Right after that, for some of you, that may, if it's marriage or relationship, it could be lust and deception. I don't know. But right after that, they're not sure if they want to end something here with you. They're like in the middle of like, do they just end that in this with you or do they don't? You know, do they not? Right after that, they're like, hmm, do I face this decision? Do I make this judgment call with cancer? Do I not? They're not sure yet. So then they stand their ground with you or against you. It's either like they're with you or they're against you, okay? Because they stand their ground. They fight for what they believe in, who they are. This is where a moment of truth comes out, though, you know? They speak their truth. They say something to you or whatever. Something gets revealed. And that's where they get to this point where, you know, they, they're they neutral about information. How they get their information about you or from you or whatever you know it's like they know not to be like stalker and creepy and obsessive they know how to keep their cool about that now this is right away for some of you okay this is where it's either this is someone in a marriage or relationship with you and one they could be cheating on you or two they just don't want to be committed to you anymore but they're going to keep quiet they're, they're going to stay there they're not going to you know go away maybe you guys could be in the middle of the divorce for some of you here others of you this is someone that you signed a contract with in a very successful elite kind of way i'll just leave it there others of you they make you successful and famous so you sign a contract with them in that sense so it's like two different contracts okay so either or regardless either they want this opportunity with you still or they have this opportunity with you right after that that's where there's a lot of pain and depression and sadness you know going on that they're going through about this whether they live with you or not in the home setting okay it's stable it's a firm foundation but right after that that's where there's a little bit of chaotic energy destructive energy there's a lot going on within themselves or with you or towards you but they still choose to stay quiet stay faithful to you right or um go to guidance get information maybe resign a contract whatever it is and then boom that's where they're willing to work with you collaborate with you make do business with you make things work with you that's where you guys have a conversation or they're not frustrated they're not angry there's nothing crazy they're very cool calm collected right after that though is where i don't know if they're competing hardcore for you and with you and they're willing to start some shit and get into some fights for you and with you or are they fighting you and you know getting aggressive with you or are they just battling their own internal stuff right that they're going through now right after that this is where they choose to kind of not be equal with you either not share anything with you anymore and give you anything anymore or they're purposely taking from you and not giving back that right here is where you know the marriage or relationship or commitment they're not really fulfilled or happy or they maybe you guys are in a divorce or they don't want to be with you or they could be cheating or they're just not really feeling too fulfilled right now being linked to you after that, there's a lot of moodiness, emotional energy. They're mad or upset or frustrated or um, they're emotionally disconnected from you or maybe codependent on you. This is where some of you, maybe they do get a divorce with you. They serve the papers. There's something of law, legal stuff, political stuff, religious stuff, whatever this is, you know, there's something here of that they, you know, they choose to, well, a sense of fairness pops in here. But I, after that, I don't think they feel too happy about it because there's something here for some of you, it's political. Some of you, it's like like legal stuff or like uh, um, jail or whatever. Others of you, based on this energy of justice, that's where they feel like stuck or scared or trapped or restricted or they can't break free from this. They don't know what to do. And then out of the blue, I don't know what happened here. They manifest something. something they, they pull the rabbit out of the fucking hat, okay? And then, because they use their skills and talents and tools, that's when they're waiting to celebrate with you, to party with you, or they're about to have fun or do something here with you. Okay, and that's how they leave it. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you, bye.